Okay, setting up the lead bullet feeder. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure you order the right one. Um, there's a lot of forums where people say it doesn't feed right, and it's because they they didn't order the right uh, bullet feeder for the bullet they're using. Um, even though like this is for nine millimeters, so it's uh, three point five five. There are different. Uh, dies for it because of the lengths of the bullets so um, like this is uh, I think up to 0.46 die right here um, and what it is is this is also for a 9 millimeter bullet but you can see this bullet doesn't fit because this is a longer bullet so you want to make sure you get the right die what it does is this is what holds it so the fingers grab it in the right spot and then it feeds it underneath your seating die. If you get the wrong one, what will happen is the bullet will tip or it won't feed uh, and that's where a lot of the problems come from. So make sure you order the right one. Uh, all you need to do is take one of the bullets that you use, take a micrometer and, and just see how long the bullet is and then order one that's within that length. Okay, setting it up. Uh, one thing I did, I have, a, I have this bullet feeder on this other press here. Uh, this is set up for the 38 Special. Uh, I liked it, so I ended up getting one for this press. Uh, this here is for 9mm. Um, one thing I did change uh, is I had an RCBS locking ring to the die. And the reason for that is, once that's mounted, you have to remove the bullet feeder to twist off your top. If you don't uh, reload a lot of different calibers, then you probably don't have to worry about it. But I have multiple die sets that I use in these presses. So um, that makes it easier. That way I don't have to uh, reset the crimp and everything every time I switch it out. So, okay, let's take a look at this thing in the box. All right, here's the main, the main setup here. And, and here's how it works. Your die goes through this hole. It sits on top of your press. Your bullets drop down through here and they sit. This is the die I was telling you about right here. This is what determines uh, how they feed. These fingers are what grabs it. Uh, I think there are really only two sizes of fingers, the small and the large. But uh, the most important part is this gap that gives your bullet enough room to come out. Um, so basically what happens is, is when you pull it, it slides the bullet underneath the feeding die, or the seating die, and then as your press goes up, this goes up and seats the bullet. So, let's take a, let's get this set up on here. <clears throat> In the box you're also going to see this rod set up. Okay, this is what actuates the whole thing. Um, and how this works. What you want to do, um, first thing is, you'll notice that this bullet feeder has four holes. You want this rod to go in the third hole, the furthest uh, from the, the die. So this is going to go just like this. Take it from here and we'll set it in there. Okay, for right now I'm just finger tightening that in. Okay, so that's sitting in there. Now the actuating rod, if you look at your press, some of the older uh, presses you might have to update your shell plate because some of the older ones didn't have the hole that you're going to need. Uh, if you look on your shell plate, right here is a hole. bottom of your rod has this plate that screw is going to go through that hole so 
So you just want to slide it down on this rod until you get it under there. And then this goes below your shell plate. You don't need to crank that down, you just want to snug it up. So, <clears throat> the bracket's underneath the shell plate, and the screw goes through the top. Now, so there's a better view of how it's on there. Okay, and what I did with the first one, um, th this, this right here is a buffer that slides up and down the rod. I put a little bit of case lube in the hole. Uh, it seemed pretty stiff and it also started squeaking after a while. So that seemed to eliminate that issue. Alright, now it's time to hook up the other bar we have hanging here. This is what actuates the fingers to slide in and out. So, um, that's going to go... Let me reposition this camera. <clears throat> So here's our rod. You can see this is the uh, where the actuator is. This goes in this last hole, the fourth hole out from the uh, dies. And um, that's pretty much how the linkage works. Now, when you're setting this uh, into the right position, you want to make sure that this clears your primer tray. And you want to have that rod that actuates it as straight up and down as possible. Because if it's way over to the side and it's working on an angle, you're going to have problems. So you kind of want it just to miss your primer tray. Um, that's pretty easy. You just, with the press empty, just kind of work it and see if it's hitting it. So, let's see here. And really, you just, I mean, it's, you just want it just to clear it. Snug up my die here. Okay. Now, because that buffer is not set in the right spot on the rod, and the buffer, remember, is this piece, this plastic piece, make sure you bring your press all the way down and then look under it and see where those fingers are sitting. You want to make sure you don't, while you're setting this up, you don't go all the way up and have those fingers in the way and smash them. So let's back this up. Okay. And this is uh, actually sitting in the right spot. Uh, what can happen is, is if you have this buffer, uh, let's see, oh, you can't see it. There we go, that's better. Okay, if you have this buffer sitting in the wrong spot, what can happen is with your press all the way down, your fingers might be out a little bit. All you need to do is hold your shell plate and move that rod that all the linkage is in up to move your fingers back. So basically when the press is set all the way down, you want to make sure that there's no, that, that the, uh, the buffer is all the way up touching the bottom of your bracket. You don't want it in the middle or anything like that. You want it just like it's sitting So it presses all the way down, you want that to look like that, and you need to make sure that your fingers are all the way back. So you can see that the fingers are all the way back. 
that's important because if they're sticking out you're going to have an issue. And like I said, all you have to do to adjust that is hold the press down, um, take your hand and just push this rod down until the fingers are in the right spot and that buffer's down. It's pretty simple. Okay. Now what you also get uh, is this tube. Actually two tubes. They just sit in. Um, you just push it in and I push and twist a little bit. So that's what our bullets what will sit into. So now we have that. Okay, let me uh, dry run this here and we'll see if those are working. And then we'll put some uh, reloading supplies in there. So it's, it's all the way out. It's going up. I would see the bullet. It's returning it grab the next one. So as long as it's doing that empty, you're good. Then you can uh, load your press. So let me load the press up and then uh, we'll see how it runs. You can see I didn't load any bullets into the tube yet. And the reason for that is, is it takes a few rotations to put a shell underneath the bullet feeder. There's no way to turn the bullet feeder off other than unhooking this arm. So for now I just left it empty, but I'll show you what I mean by unhooking the arm. One thing to remember is is it'll feed bullets if there's bullets in it and you're working the press. So if, let's say you get a problem and you have to back the press up. You have to be aware of where these fingers are um, because you might smash them if if you're not uh, if you you know rotate the press by hand. got one sitting underneath the right stage so I'll drop some bullets in here Okay, now let's see if we can get in on this. So you can see the finger brought the bullet out. Okay, and that's how it works now. When you're done unloading, if you still have supplies in there, or even if you don't, let me lower this camera here. Okay. Now when you're finished, what you want to do is make sure that there's no bullets in those fingers and that finger isn't all the way back. Because what happens, this is kind of springed plastic. It's it's opened up in the back position and it allows the bullet to fit in it. As it comes out, it squeezes the bullet and that's what holds it. So if you're done and you leave it sitting like that, it'll just spring it open and it won't work. Um, so the easiest thing to do is just to, when you're finished, unhook this rod out of the linkage. So I'm going to pop this out and let it fall and then I'll hold the bullet and move the fingers out. That way there's no pressure on the fingers. They're sitting past the bullet and they're not all the way back. The rod's unhooked from them. One thing is you just don't want to forget you did that and then have the fingers all the way out here and run the press because you'll smash the fingers. But uh, you do want to do that or you'll spring them open. They say you can boil them in water and they'll go back to their shape, but that's the easiest way is just to do that and you won't run into a problem.
also if you do end up having to reverse the press for some reason if you get a primer messed up or something that'll stop it from feeding the bullets as well so um, that's the Lee bullet feeder